it's Megan and today I am so excited to do my very first perfume layering combination video and before we get into my layering combos I have to give the biggest shout out to Vicky from Just Plain Jane her channel is my obsession right now and she just has so much awesome like perfume and fragrance related content and she really inspired me to even explore layering body care with perfume and it's just opened a world of fun and experimentation and I just absolutely love it and I love her personality and her channel so make sure you go and subscribe to her right now because I really want to help her grow her channel and I think you guys would absolutely love her so um, go check her out tell her I sent you and enjoy her perfume layering videos because she has quite a few already and I'm sure she has many more coming so I have five layering combos to share with you I have so much more like experimentation to do with the perfumes that I have but these are the first five that I have discovered that I really love with the uh, body care that I have currently and the perfumes so the one that I was most excited about doing is with a perfume that is very like bougie I would say with a body lotion that I don't think you would expect to put with this. So the body lotion is the Blueberry Sugar Pancakes from Bath & Body Works and this is oh my god it's a super sweet blueberry sugary a little bit like cakey with that pancake note um but it's mostly like sugary blueberries it's so so delicious it says that the fragrance notes are sugared blueberries fresh pancakes and caramel cream drizzle it is just a delicious sweet blueberry scent and it's online only which is so annoying but it's worth picking up so i have this and the um body spray and I paired it with Guerlain Le Petit Robe Noir Intense. And this is a perfume that I have been on a journey with. Like when I first got this, and let's just appreciate this, this stunning bottle with the little black dress in the background. Um, when I first got this, I was obsessed with it. I was wearing it very continuously and it is a beautiful, like sultry, I don't even know how to describe this scent because it's so unique to anything I've ever smelled. So let me look up the notes because maybe that will help me describe it. So in the top, it has blueberry and cotton candy, raspberry, cassis, and bergamot. So it's a very sweet, slightly sharp opening. And the like little bit of like bergamot I think throws my nose off a little bit so sometimes when I come up and smell it I don't absolutely love the fragrance but the dry down is everything so it has Bulgarian rose orange blossom jasmine vanilla patchouli sandalwood and white musk so it's a very like deep scent with a very very sweet opening with a slight sharpness so I wanted to play up that blueberry cotton candy like delicious sweet fruity scent so pairing these together is a super amazing match made in heaven it makes it sweet the entire time and so when the Guerlain dries down the lotion is still like permeating on your skin and still has that delicious sweetness so this is amazing and this was the first combo I knew I had to try because when I saw a blueberry scented body care item I knew the blueberry in the top like I was hoping it would go together and it really does and I absolutely absolutely love it it makes me love the perfume even more because you get that sweetness for a longer period of time so really really glad about that little combo and that was like my first win and gave me confidence to continue like experimenting some more and then I have another one of the Bath and Body Works like bake shop line this is marshmallow pumpkin 
latte and so the fragrance notes are pumpkin latte toasted marshmallows creamy sandalwood and praline musk and on me this is like pumpkin spice and everything nice like there's a hint of that coffee note. I wish it was a little more prominent and I'm really hoping that eventually Bath and Body Works will have like a coffee scented line that's more strong in the coffee note because I would say this is more so marshmallow pumpkin spice as opposed to marshmallow pumpkin latte. Like I don't get a lot of coffee. But in any case, it smells delicious. It's like a sweet pumpkin spice scent and I paired it with Kayali Vanilla and this is one of my favorite perfumes. I want this to come available in the full size on the Sephora website but it's been sold out for a while. This is just a perfect vanilla scent. It's rich like it's almost like vanilla extract but not quite as sweet and it's just this creamy vanilla like warm cozy hug and these went perfectly together because it brings out that like rich vanilla scent it didn't like play up the coffee note but i just thought of this wait for it oh my gosh i have to do this so i just thought about how i recently got the black opium um extreme perfume from ysl if you did all of these together it would really bring forward that coffee note i think and this could be the next best thing because black opium is a lot more rich and deep so it would take it in like a more sensual nighttime direction but it would still be like super cozy and vanilla and like pumpkin spice oh my gosh have to try this so these two definitely go together this one is as vicky would say a wild card <laughs> which i love when she has wild card combos card combos but i really think this would be just take it to that next level of what i really want out of the like coffee note because this has like a coffee dark chocolate type of vibe to me so ooh, i can't wait to try that i will do that soon and definitely report back if those three are a really good combo this was another one of my favorites and if you watch my videos you know i'm obsessed with into the night from bath and body works this is perfection to me like this doesn't really need a co-star because it is a star in and of itself and so i just love the body cream and the fine fragrance mist together but in the spirit of trying to find perfume combinations i was just really excited to test it with some stuff and my favorite combination that i discovered with into the night is la vie a belle intense mint and I love this perfume by itself too. Like, it is divine. Like, this is easily top five favorite perfumes in my collection. It is so sweet and like, it's like sweet and creamy, yet also deep and seductive. Like, that's my favorite type of scent. Like, a sweet, deep scent. And this just pairs so well with into the night to me like this could be my signature scent and i would not get sick of it i am like 95 percent sure because it's just everything i love together and it like adds a little more like depth to into the night not that Livier bell intensement is super deep and rich but of course layering on other like scents on top of a perfume or body lotion will make it just more interesting and more complex and add like that depth and character so these two together are incredible if you love la vie abel intense mint try it with into the night because i think you would really love into the night if you love this perfume and if we have very similar taste in perfume you have got to try into the night it is amazing like I really need Bath and Body Works to come out with a full-size perfume of this because it's everything to me. Okay, so this is a really good affordable option. So both of these items are from Target. So um, this is the EOS um, Body Lotion in Vanilla Cashmere. And I ordered this online because for some reason my 
Sephora or my Target doesn't have these lotions. It's so weird. And so of course I heard Vicky talking about it and I had to get it. So this, oh my God, this is like a caramelized vanilla scent. It is so just like ooey gooey vanilla coziness like it smells like a dessert it is so amazing and i love the bottle it comes with a pump just awesome stuff and to be honest i would have thought this is a would be a more powdery scent with the name vanilla cashmere like i just thought it would be a more lighter scent but it's super sweet and delicious like it is amazing so I paired it with something that is vanilla, but not sweet vanilla. And this is the Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon. And first of all, this perfume is only $18. So it's worth it to try it out. Um, and it is amazing for fall. This is like a very like smoky, tobacco-y, like bonfire, like roasting marshmallows at a bonfire type of scent that is actually exactly what this smells like it almost wow i can't believe i never have realized this till now it almost smells like marshmallow fireside from bath and body works but in a perfume which i just can't believe they've never come out with marshmallow fireside body care but this is perfect if you love marshmallow fireside it actually really smells similar to it so um since this is more of that smoky vanilla not really sweet having this um like really sweet vanilla caramely base it just makes it a sweeter scent and i think they go really really well together nice like more inexpensive combination you don't have to buy a 50 or $100 perfume to do this. This is like around like $25 to get both. And it's a delicious, sweet, yet smoky fall scent. I think this is amazing. So really love that combo. And then my last combination for this video is a more like florally combination. So this is definitely like a feminine, like perfect for the office perfect for every day like it's just a nice feminine combo so this is with dahlia from bath and body works and my mom like discovered this i swear because we were at bath and body works i was doing an exchange and she was just smelling around and she was like oh my gosh i love this dahlia scent and i was like i've never even looked at that because the packaging like it's pretty but i was just like oh there's like so many florals on it like i don't usually like floral scents but this is such a good scent it is velvet dahlia petals crisp pear praline musk and whipped tonka bean so it is floral but it's still a little bit fruity with the pear and it has the praline and tonka bean so it's really delicious if you don't normally like florals i think you would still like this just because i was experimenting i tried it with chanel coco mademoiselle low Privé, and this is like a light version of coco mademoiselle it doesn't have patchouli it's like a perfect everyday floral scent and like i said i don't love florals but this is just so pretty and so feminine and just so nice i thought these paired really nicely together the dahlia adds more of a sweetness not to say dahlia is super sweet but compared to the coco mademoiselle low Privé which is very much just like a more light floral scent. I thought Dahlia paired perfectly with it and it was just like a nice spin on the Coco Mademoiselle Low Privé because I just haven't really been wearing it since it's getting a little closer to fall. I can't wait till it's like full-blown fall but until that happens I still am trying to use some of my lighter like spring summer scents so this was really pretty and if I were to ever have to go back into the office to work, which I can't imagine since I'm like full time remote now, this would be a really nice office scent or if you're going to like an appointment or like your kid's school or like something or even like a first date. I think this would be just really pretty and maybe like brunch with the girls, you know, like it's just a nice feminine scent that's not 
overpowering it's just really nice and you'll smell good without your perfume being like the main thing that people notice but you'll just smell really good and I love it so those are my perfume layering combos and this is just to start out with because I know that I'm going to continue experimenting and I will definitely keep you guys posted as I discover more combinations and let me know what you guys love pairing together if you do that and if you don't definitely give it a shot it's so much fun and like I said go check out Vicky's channel I'll have it linked down below and Vicky thank you so much for your inspiration I just absolutely love your videos and I can't wait to see what you come up with next. So thanks you guys so much for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye!